special thanks to Kano, young Kano, young legend, um, big friend of the channel, Massive friend, huge yeah. friend. Um, he suggested that we had a look at Ryan Nyhus uh, as someone maybe we can target. And so what we've done here with Dan is we've compared his career to someone that's similar to him in Lockie Plowman. So Dan, take us through the, the you know the merit in looking at a guy like Ryan Nyhus, who, mind you, is playing for Frio. We're led to believe his family are all Carlton supporters. He grew up a Carlton supporter. There potentially could be some interest in him coming home to Melbourne. Could be a recruit of ours. So let us know what you think. Yeah, so I mean, like, very similar type of player. Very, They play that medium, small, defensive role for their clubs. We can see Plowman, obviously, vastly more experienced. Yep. Tough backline, though, to break into. Freeman, or you've got to admit that Ross's team's staple is backline. Yeah. But... Interesting, like I never never thought of it, so until Kano mentioned it, I he wasn't on my radar. But when you look at it, there's a great argument he's got of yeah. maybe he'd be worth it because you'd say Daisy and Kate probably gonna retire this year if not next. Yeah. So someone to fit into that pocket. And also we're definitely missing a small defender and I'm not saying Lucky Plowman can't do it, but I just get the feeling it's not his go. I don't know why. I get the feeling it's not his... I think he's more of a medium defender taking a number two forward or a number three tall forward as opposed to, you know, uh, a Jack Martin type or, or the like. He's, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's one of them players that's weird, isn't he? Because you wouldn't have given him a chance to go into Walters or Cameron. Yeah. And he stops them playing, but then you put him on someone average and they have a day out. Yeah. It's one of these weird things with Plowman. So, I mean, like, the, the numbers, though, from Ryan are phenomenal yeah. like for someone who's played a limited amount of minutes big one is his keen eye for goal yeah, 70% yeah. efficiency they take the game on about the same like there's not much to split between them so really yep. he's only going to get better the more he plays the argument then sort of comes up of well hang on we've got we've got one in Plowman why should we go after a guy who's you know not dissimilar to Plowman but look it's an interesting one and like you said you know Simo's coming towards the end Daisy's coming towards the end um, not pushing them out by any stretch of the imagination. But when you've got a 22-year-old lockdown small forward defender who can push up the ground, this could be something to look at, particularly when you factor in Melbourne boy or Victorian lad, Carlton supporter. Could be some interest there. So there's something there. Kano, thank you so much for that. And again, if anybody has any, any interest in any players that they're watching from another team or maybe even in the State League, let us know because we've got the uh, stats guy here. We've got the list manager over here. We're happy to run through a little video and, and have a real look at it and put some put an argument. That's all. We'll, that's what it's all about. It's all about generating discussion and creating some sort of an argument to see why we should go after a player or why we shouldn't. So let's chat about this one. What do you think? 